The next skill we're going to perform is con unconscious oral care. For this skill, you will need a waterproof barrier for your work surface, a towel, an emesis basin, mouthwash solution, two cups, three oral swabs, a padded tongue blade, and lip balm. You're going to wash your hands and apply gloves before beginning the skill. My unconscious resident is already positioned on her side with a pillow behind her back. I will always assume that my unconscious resident can hear me, so I'm always going to talk with her and let her know what's happening next. Hi Beth, my name's Mari, I'm your aide today. I'm here to do your oral care. I'm going to put the head of the bed up a little bit and I'm going to get things positioned. I'm going to put a towel under your face in case there's any drainage. We don't want to make a mess of her bed. Next, I will take the emesis basin and place it near her chin and under her mouth to help collect anything that drains out of her mouth. I will start the oral care by using a solution of one part mouthwash to three parts water. I'll take the first oral swab and get it wet with the mouthwash solution. I will use the oral swab to clean the outside of her teeth and inside of her cheeks, always making sure to keep the oral swab in her mouth. Once I've cleaned the outside of her teeth and cheeks, I'll place the oral swab in the basin and I will use my padded tongue blade to place it between her teeth and hold her mouth open if her mouth is not open open on its own. I'll then obtain the next oral swab with mouthwash solution and use it to clean the inside of her teeth, the tongue, and the roof of the mouth. After her mouth is clean, I will use my last mouth swab with water and I will wipe around the entire mouth to help rinse the excess mouthwash off. Then I will remove the emesis basin and use the towel to dry her face. The last step will be to apply lip balm as long as my patient is not on oxygen. We don't use petroleum-based products with oxygen as oxygen is combustible. Next, I will clean up my supplies and remove the towel. The towel will go in the laundry hamper. I will make sure that I put the head of the bed back down to 30 degrees and place the call light in reach of Beth. I'll clean up my supplies, take off my gloves, wash my hands, record and report.